Okay, so I made a, uh, a small abstract shader pack for free that you guys can use. The Gumroad link is in the top link in the description. Um, I'm first going to show you how to download it, and then I'll show you how to import them into your project. So if you click the link, you're going to see this. You would click, I want this, put zero. You don't have to give me any money. Um, and then you click, I want this, and then just put in your email, and then click get, and then download. And then you'll see it show up in your downloads wherever that normally shows up. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop. And then let's open up Blender. And let's import these materials. So the way you would do it is you go to File, uh, Append. And then you go over and find the project. For here it's called The Shaders. And then you would go over to Material. And then here are all your materials right here. So if you want to click, pick a specific one, or you can click um, A, select them all, and append a library. And then let's just put in a mesh here real quick. And you go over to it, and there's all your materials right there. And then so let's um, let's mess around with them real quick. I'll just show you each of them. So let's just make this smooth real quick. All right, so let's put in uh, the first material. Go to look dev, and here it is. It's got a little bump mapping here going on. Uh, it's got a little blue. If you want to go in and change this, change the colors and all that, um, you would just go over to the shader editor. I'm just going to use the shading preset here and that Blender has. But um, over here in the nodes, really the only one you'll want to worry about is this white one and this blue one so you can go in and change it to whatever color you want and that basically goes for all the shaders that I'm going to show you so you would just go into the node shader editor and um, just do whatever you want just have some fun wrong one just go in and just play with that let's go back and pick a different shader next one this glowy one will put um, Let's go in and put Bloom back on for this. So this one, it's got an emission shader to it. It's pretty nice. Uh, if you want to animate it, you, you can. You can go to the node editor right here on your on the mapping node. You can go to the rotation, and you can uh, kind of mess with that on the rotation axis. If you want to see how to animate um, textures like this one, I have a tutorial on that. It's called how how, how to animate well how to loop textures. So you can go and if you want to specifically learn that. All right, let's go to the next one. And we have this one, which is sort of a gold weird shader. Again, has some bump mapping going on. Um, all these work in cycles, by the way. Um, I'm just previewing them for you in um, Eevee. But the thumbnail for this, um, those that's a cycles render. So you can ch look at that. And it they all basically look um, almost the same. For this one, same goes. If you want to change it, just go to the node editor and play with uh, whatever you want. I like this one gold, but you can do anything you want with this. And you can also change how the things look in the nodes as well. And you can go in and study these. Um, if you want me to make a tutorial on how I made each of these materials, I'll totally do a series with that. Just go tell me uh, in the description, not the description, sorry, the comments. Um, if you would like me to make a tutorial or you just want to sort of use these. All right, so the next shader, I call it the planet shader, sort of like a lava looking planet. And this one, um, it's got some sort of like bump topographical noise texture with it as long as well as this sort of lava look. I don't know, you can uh, obviously you can use it for whatever you want. Same goes, go to the node editor change it up if you want Let's see we got a few more to go this one's just like the uh, glowing one but just without glow because most of the shaders you use don't have any glow to them so I gave you one without that and um, yeah so this one's really cool I'm, I'm a huge fan of this one this one this one might be my favorite um, this is a really interesting one I think this one's a little bit different in the yeah, so to change the color on this one, you would do that in the color ramp. This is just one principled shader. 
Um, so I can go in and change the orange. It's not letting me select it. There we go. And you can go in and change, you know, anything you want. Be creative. And then our last one, a nice glossy Voronoi sort of uh, shader we got. So yeah, those are the shaders. Use them for whatever you want. No credit required. You can go download that from the Gumroad um, link. And yeah, have fun with them.